New at 10, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has denied the state's appeal to declare last September's flooding a major disaster. Fox 56's Joshua Coulom talked with officials in Luzerne and Lackawanna counties about what comes next. FEMA says it found about 12 million in flood damage, but Pennsylvania Emergency Management said it was closer to 25 million, which led to the appeal. The denial letter sent to Governor Shapiro's office said it reaffirmed the original findings. Officials we spoke to expressed disappointment with the decision. My theory is that the government is here uh, to help individuals uh, who experience uh, that kind of uh, traumatic event, like a major flood. Uh, and it's unfortunate that uh, we were not able to rely on FEMA to, to offer some assistance, but we're going to keep trying. Luzerne County says it will talk to their EMA to look for alternatives and speak to flooding victims about the next steps. Scranton Fire Chief and Emergency Coordinator John Judge says the area won't get back on their feet as quickly as they hoped, but the city will continue helping residents and business owners. Been working diligently to hopefully find some other grant opportunities and avenues to possibly for those that want their homes bought out so that we can have that flood mitigation done in those areas so that we don't see these repetitive uh, losses. He says on top of helping residents, the city is now prioritizing flood prevention projects, with one close to starting soon. What they call semi-qualitative risk assessment done on our levy system, working with the Army Corps of Engineers. That was a project that had started prior to the flooding event. Um, that's almost signed. It's been budgeted for this year so that we can find where our vulnerabilities are and then make additional improvements. In Scranton, Joshua Coulomb, Fox 56 News, first to 10. We reached out to the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, which also expressed disappointment, saying in part, quote, the Shapiro administration remains committed to working alongside our local and federal partners to identify additional funding and support the victims of the September 2023 flooding. Congressman Cartwright also released a statement saying he was disappointed considering the destruction, stressing that residents deserve assistance. That statement saying in part, FEMA's methods and formulas for determining Determining aid are clearly flawed and require reevaluation. And Senator Bob Casey weighing in, saying he is committed to working with local, state, and federal partners to get the people of northeastern Pennsylvania the support they need to continue to rebuild.